Speaking of Muslims leaving Islam, want to hear from some Muslims who've left Islam? Wow, I'm Ugandan, and just last week a girl I follow on Instagram shared on her story how she left Islam and converted to Christianity, and she had Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus, and your channel, David, to thank. You're reaching many, even all the way here in East Africa. Praise God. Uganda. I think we're going to be hearing from a lot of our African brothers and sisters in this video. Dr. Wood, you are amazing. You have no idea how many lives, including myself as an ex-Muslim, you are saving every day by opening our eyes. I cannot wait for your new post every day. You're a hero. Okay, this is getting a bit much. Keep in mind that I am an ex-con and a former mental patient. People all over the earth are learning so much from you, and although some don't want to or are afraid to admit, but have been touched by your videos and common sense. God bless and keep up the great work. Thanks for all these videos. I'm from France and I recently left Islam. You and AP exposed such a brain dead ideology. Best regards. One of the reasons I left Islam is you, David. Thanks. That's why I'm here. Thanks, man. Through your work, AP, Abdullah Samir, Hatun Tash, and Jay Smith, I left Islam late 2019 and got two friends of mine, hardcore fans of Ali Dawa, Muhammad Hijab, Adnan Rashid, to do the same. The surprisingly violent reaction of the community is unbelievable. Still wondering how can people treat homies to protect a foreign heresy generated by an epileptic lustful warlord? Good question. Going back to my 1400 years suppressed Berber roots, Republic of Niger. Thanks. Now we've heard from Niger, over 99% Muslim population. I'm a 17-year-old ex-Muslim girl from Pakistan, but I live a fake life as a Muslim. I have a very strict Muslim family, and my father is an Islamic scholar. He is well known, so I cannot mention his name. I have done hifs, memorized entire Quran by heart, and have been taught Islam in detail, especially by my father. However, as I got older, I started to question this religion and also decided to do my own research rather than believing whatever I was forced to believe. To be honest, it sucks being a secret ex-Muslim because I cannot be my true self. I am very scared of my family as well. However, I am at peace in my heart. Thank you, Mr. David, for helping me and many other Muslims leave Islam. Good to hear from you, sister. Keep us updated on how things are going for you. By the way, does everyone remember the Asadullah Ali clip where he says he's met hundreds of ex-Muslims who are still living as Muslims? So one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. And I'm talking within the hundreds. However, at the same time, they have also declared to me that they are Hufad, they are prophets of the Quran. They are leading prayers to the masjid. They are engaged in madrasa, education. Okay? And they are still leading that life. On a related note, I keep saying that I'm going to make a video about all the people who are living as secret ex-Muslims. I keep forgetting. Remind me in the comments about two weeks from now, because that's turning out to be a big issue for a lot of ex-Muslims around the world. Wow, Muslims are leaving Islam, and I'm one of them by the help of Dr. D. Wood. Thank you. Jesus saves. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus' name above all names. What a great comment. Hey, wait a minute. This is from Jamal Khan. I think I've already shared a comment from you in one of my other ex-Muslim videos. No double dipping, Jamal. 
Your penalty is everyone sees your name, so now they can recognize you in the comments and the chat. My friendship ended with a Muslim friend. I went radical with the truth at her watching your videos. Two years later, November 28th, 2021, the Holy Spirit gave me a dream and told me now she celebrates Christmas as well. She is Christian now. I also left Islam because of videos of ex-Muslim Zafar, Ghalib Kamal, Harris Sultan, Indian ex-Muslim Sahil, and David. Your videos also give the best arguments to debunk Islam. I am from Nigeria. David, thanks for opening my eyes. You motivated me to become a Christ follower. Almighty God will give you the wisdom to win more souls to Christianity. Nigeria. I'd like to hear from every country in Africa. My girlfriend is ex-Muslim after seeing David Wood videos. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you from Pakistan. I hated you and AP for years because I was only watching your videos with a brainwashed and closed mind. You both saved me from having to live my life as a Muslim, and I would have never seen anything wrong with it if it weren't for you. Thanks, bro. I am ex-Muslim. I am searching for truth, and also sorry I cursed you. Apology accepted. Thank you, Brother David. Finally, I too am out of that filthy hellhole. God bless you. May the true God and Savior, Jesus Christ, open the eyes of thousands of Islamists. I started to question Islam after you and Al-Fadi's videos, and I left it. That's good. You should criticize and question directly Quran and Muhammad, but mocking and insulting is absolutely wrong, and mocking the moral values is again not true. You should show that even though moral values like child marriage was acceptable in 7th century, these values cannot be universal and cannot be rules of God, or Muhammad cannot be perfect example for all times and places. He cannot be prophet of God. But please don't mock and insult. I have carefully considered your request, and I reject it. I'm definitely going to continue mocking Muhammad and the Quran. Feel free not to watch if you don't like it. If this channel's a mockin', don't come a knockin'. I left Islam last year. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. I am, I've deleted our sister's name because the penalty for leaving Islam is death, from Uganda and currently UAE. I love you, my brother. Thanks for saving my soul. I can't take credit for saving your soul, but hey, wait a minute. The other comment from Uganda talked about a girl who left Islam. Is that you? Small world. Mr. David, you are an awesome person. You guys are lucky I know what a sick, twisted, drooling nut job I was without Jesus, or all these compliments would go to my head. I am from a Middle East country. I was Muslim, and after I'd been watching your videos and how you exposed Muhammad's lies and how Islam had been forced with the sword and fear and killing, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior and as my Lord. I left Islam because Christianity gives me more freedom, more love, more modernity, as I am a human. Hello, Mr. David. I am from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I'm also an ex-Muslim now, and it's all because of listening to and watching your videos. The problem I'm having right now is that the old woman that I rent a room to is a Muslim, and people have told her that I criticize Islam and I no longer pray. She is about to give me notice to leave her place. Wow, whatever happens, stay safe. Sierra Leone has a little over 75% Muslim population. Get to a Christian area if you can. Brother David, thank you for what you're doing. Because of you, I have converted about 30 people to Christ thanks to your videos. Stay blessed and keep up the good work. No, you keep up the good work. So, lots of comments like these in the comments section, but we also hear from ex-Muslims during live streams. Thank you both. This was during a live stream with AP. Without you both, I would have never have took the decision of leaving Islam. Hopefully my husband can one day wake up and leave Islam. Maybe I should make some videos about that. I left Islam, but my husband is still a Muslim. What do I do? Something to think about. And here's one from Bob the Builder on Twitter. Just read an email from a brother, Muslim background, who was helped to become a Christian from watching mine and David Wood's videos. Thanks be to God for the work he does through his evangelists. Bob the Builder, can he tweet it? And finally, I also see comments like this. 
Hi, David. While I appreciate your work and efforts, I must say one of my main reasons for leaving Islam was the journey of Nabil Qureshi. God bless him, and may he rest in peace. God will love Nabil. Makes me wanna dance. Shut up! Shut up! 24%. What? What? 24%. Your child's been calling a birthday. Your child's been calling a birthday. 24%. What? What? 24%. Your child's been calling a birthday.